Mark Tyson, Mark, good morning to you on a Monday. Here we go now. Gas prices, the ABC morning. poll now on Biden's approval number. Gas prices 27%, inflation 28 all the way down to the bottom. Crime is still at only 38%, Mark. These are not good numbers in any category. Yeah, Jimmy Gill is going to get to the bottom of all this, I'm sure. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, look, the, the idea that I mean, Americans see through all the rhetoric coming out of the White House. They know that we had 40 year high inflation before the war in Ukraine. They know that we had reached the highest 30 year, year on year uh, increases in gas prices before the war in Ukraine. When, when Joe Biden took office, gas was $2.46 a gallon. By October, it was three fifty. It had gone up a dollar. That's long before the war in Ukraine. And as for inflation, look, you don't have to take my word for it that the American, the quote unquote American rescue plan unleashed this. Listen to Democratic economists. Larry Summers in February 2021 warned publicly that if we pa if he passed a 1.9 trillion dollar social spending bill disguised as covid relief it would le unleash inflation we had not seen in a generation just last week Steve Ratner another Obama e economic advisor said that oh, Biden overstimulated the economy and put too much government money in people's pockets and that's why we have this inflation so it's economics 101 and Americans are smart enough to see it so here's two of the secretaries of the cap the president's cabinet on yesterday talking Talking about who's really to blame. And you hear these oil executives on the record talking about how they're not going to increase production. Uh, why would they? They're doing great right now. It, it's worth noting that gas prices are up $1.40 a gallon since Putin moved troops, troops into uh, Ukraine. So they've been saying the same thing since before I even left for Spain, which feels like a year yeah. ago. But um, so they've been saying the same thing. <laughs> and, when she, and when the secretary <laughs> says it's worth noting, OK, like, fine. So we can note that. Fine. But the American people are like, OK, but then what? And there's never, ever in the history of the world been a communications tactic that solved a policy problem. Yeah. I mean, look, gas rose, as I show, told you, a dollar before the war, by October, before the war in Ukraine. And so now it's risen, risen another dollar 40 or so. OK, well, why is that? So the pre-war, the pre-war gas increase in prices was Joe Biden's fault because it's the war on fossil fuels. Now it's the war in Ukraine. Well, why did Vladimir Putin invade Ukraine? Because he thought Joe Biden was weak. It's no coincidence that it happened a few months after the catastrophic withdrawal of Afghanistan, which, which projected weakness on the world. So if the first part is the war on fossil fuels, if the second part isn't the Putin price hike, it's the Biden weakness tax. It's, it's, the, it's the, our failure to enforce our, a strong foreign policy around the world, which led to a catastrophic war that didn't have to happen that could have been deterred if we had, America had been strong. Mark, there is, um, I mean, you were writing about this, the potential for blackouts on electricity, not in California, but in the Midwest this summer. I, I find that extraordinary. Um, and, and to ease the pain of inflation, there's a consideration to ease, easing up on the tariffs that are placed on the Chinese. Uh, headline, U.S. Commerce Chief sees some tariffs as very effective. They probably have been effective. All right, there's a national debate. Remember, the Trump administration had a tough time getting this going. It's been in place. Will the administration lift the foot off the Chinese tariffs and to what end? So first on the on the on the blackouts. So first we have ga high gas prices. Now we're going to have blackouts. Next is going to be locusts. OK, I mean, the, we, the reason we're having we're going to have the Washington Post reported we're going to have nationwide blackouts this summer because coal plants are shutting down rather than investing in upgrades because of the Biden war on fossil fuels. So we're now going to have on top, we're going to be like North Korea, where we don't have enough, enough energy to power our homes. And then on China tariffs, this is, again, this shows how weakness on the world stage, weakness at home leads to weakness on the world stage. We, we didn't put tar t sanctions on, on Russia, oil and gas, because we were afraid of high gas prices. We've been isolating the Maduro regime for years, but now we're begging them to produce oil. Uh, it, we're, it, Biden said he's going to going to uh, get tough on Saudi Arabia, but now he's begging Saudi Arabia for. Uh, and now we're now in order to deal with inflation, we're going to lift tariffs that the Biden administration said effective. When you're weak at home, when the economy is weak, it projects weakness on the world and puts America in danger. And that's what we're seeing with the Biden administration. Okay, cue the locusts. Thanks. And there he is. Monday, Monday. Thank you.